Right everybody, I thought I'd make another video looking at duty cycle again, so this is on the, the BMW, my BMW, and what we're going to look at now is the radiator fan. Now you can see down there, this is the block connector, it goes down the side, so what it has here, the brown wire is uh, earth, and the red wire is power, and you can see the little the thin wire, that's a uh, black green. Now what that does, that duty cycles, or it pulse width modulates, to control the fan speed so obviously into there there must be a wee electronic box that uh, when the pulse signal goes down that wire it then controls the the speed of this the, the the coolant fan either high or low so there you can see I've, I've connected in there uh, just I've just made these we connectors up myself into the uh, into the black green wire the control wire so I'll show you on the scope and I'll show you using duty cycle as well, so here we go. I'll put my light off to save my batteries. There you go, we're set up in the Veris. Uh, turn the, if I could have got connected to the amps clamp, <laughs> I'd have showed you the amps draw, but I'll no matter for this. So there you go, and I'm connected into the black green wire. With key on, engine not running, you can see it's a straight, uh, what's that, 10, 11 volts, just under battery voltage. So it's 11.37 11, 11 volts. So what I'll do is I'll go into the, the, the scan tool part of it, and you can see I can control, this is just said scanner, so I'll put the, the cooling fan on and off. So we'll start it, and you'll hear it buzz up, so we'll go back, we'll show you, there's the scope pattern. So you can see the duty cycle of this thing, it's 90% on, and this little wee bit at the top is off. So that's the fan at the full speed. So you can hear the fan running there, so I'll go back, I'll put the fan off, we'll stop the fan, and we'll go back to the scope, and you can see it goes back to, it'll just, what's that, a tiny wee bit on, 3% on, 3% on and 97% off, and the fan's actually not burling at this point so if you leave it long enough as you've seen at the beginning that just goes a straight 12 volts now if you're having I was reading an article today it was released for Pico about a guy who was having trouble with a coolant fan and uh, well, it was actually that little wire it's on mine's the black green he had high resistance in that wire and what he done he just used his test lamp and gave it 12 volts uh, he clamped to 12 volts in the battery and put the test lamp up that, and then you can actually see that pulsing or glowing to make sure it's that the things function. I think that's a great test, a, a quick bypass test, or a quick test to see if that there's actually a signal within that wire. I'm pretty sure if I put the test lamp in there, the now you would you would actually not see that. But I didn't really want to try it with the the that and check. But maybe I could try it. Let me see. See. So you can see there's it's went straight. So the other thing's got to show you was. And go back, go to the graph and multimeter and we'll do duty cycle again. So you can see there's absolutely nothing on the screen at the moment. So if I go home and do that test again, we'll start it and go back into there. So that's the fan coming up, so you can see the, the duty cycle of that is 90%. And you can see down the bottom there as well, 90% duty cycle. So what we'll do is we'll go back home and we'll stop it go back into here again and you can see it drops back to what's that I can hardly see it myself here focus so bad 5% duty cycle so at a 5% duty, duty cycle there's the the fans not even turning so what we can do here is actually stop the recording zoom out so there you can, there you can see it's it graphed the duty cycle it shoots right up to 90% and then it drops right off again and then it goes back to 5% so what I'll do, I'll go and try that test light and uh, we'll see how we go with that. So here's another bypass test I've now tried. So what I've done here is I've disconnected the multi-plug. You can see that's disconnected for, uh, there. And I've now took uh, my 12 volts from battery positive and that's acted like the load from this ignition module here. So I've pinned into this, this small wire again and uh, I've got my scope leads to see what the signal's like, so I'll take you in the car and we can see if this works. It works on a Ford 
I'm not so sure if it works in a BMW, so look at this. So there you go, that's me pinned in there, and you can see I've got, well I've actually got 11.82 volts, so that's higher. So we'll see if this lights the test light. So we'll go scanner, start the fan, now I made sure I've not got any clothes because I cleared them out, went back and you can see that uh, there's no pulsing on the lab scope and you can also see that it does not light up. Put that light off. It does not light up my test light. How you doing? Now here, what I've done in this case, I've connected my test light to battery ground. Now I, I spoke earlier on testing it to battery positive, but look, watch this. So it's connected to battery ground. This is my positive here. You can see that my test light lights. So watch this. So I'm still into this little control wire, and I can actually make the fan run. So watch this. If I just keep pulsing it, I, so I act like the the pulsing signal. You know. So there you go, there's a quick bypass test, I don't know if it'll work in every car. Trying to get it right there. So that's me just doing the duty cycle of the whole thing. Well there you go, I'm going quite fast now. So there you go, there's a bypass test for you. Okay, this time I'm now going to use the Picoscope, okay, the Picoscope 2000. Uh, to test this wire and see what it looks like on that scope. Picoscope uh, leads are great. These are lovely and long. You can sit in the car. Brilliant. Actually, these are not the genuine Picoscope ones. These are actually hand tape ones. Uh, what more for EB? I think they were seven pounds, and they work with the Picoscope fine. So I'll take you into the scope and show you that. So it's exactly the same setup. I've got the Veris, and that's going to actuate the cooling fan. And there's the picoscope there, so you can see we're, uh, I'll take you to the screenshot at the moment. You can see we're plugged into that and we're pulling 11.21 volts. So what we'll do, we'll actuate the fan on this thing again. Keep you focused on the screen. We'll go start. And you can see there you go, the picoscope goes for that there. And you can hear the fan burling in. So, uh, it times it for 30 seconds, and I'll show you at the end here on the picoscope what you can do to bring in a graph to look at duty cycle. We'll just, we'll just stop that. That's enough there. So that's it stopped. And you can see that uh, it changes the duty cycle. So I'll pause that there. So what we'll do is jump the car. What I can do here is we can go back. I think that'd be ideal. So I think we go tools, math channels, and I've already set this up for duty cycle. We should see that. And go OK. So you can see there the duty cycle. Mm. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Minus 16, up to 90%. Mm. I didn't like the look of that at all. Let's go, let's go back to the beginning then. There we go. So that's when it starts. I'll, I'll put that math channel off. I'll need to work that out one later on. So go into that, go OK. So we'll then go into this. And zoom you can see the starts pulsing about there. So that's exactly the same as what you've seen in the Veris. It's pulsing about 90%. And you just keep going along. Uh, I've got to come back off of this. I'll get that bit. I've got the next frame where it changes. There it's there, so if we focus in here, this is where it goes for 90% back to 
3%. So you see that. There it's grounded there for 90%, so that the fan fully on. Then that's where I switched it off in the various. It goes back to was that five percent. So that shows you the pulse signal there. Still need to work on that math channel. How to get the, that duty cycle thing to work. Yeah. Anyway, there's a few options, and that's using the the little pico scope. It cost me one hundred and twenty pound. Great buy. So anyway, cheers.